Morning everyone. Uh, just a quick update from the allotment. Uh, <clears throat> it's a beautiful day and uh, quite a change from this time last year because um, when the first lockdown happened I had so much time on my hand. We were down we were down here, I don't know, at least two days a week and uh, this year is totally the opposite. Everything's so busy and I've hardly had time so I'm a little bit behind to be quite honest. I'll just show you what I've got at the moment. Excuse the state of this greenhouse but um, we've got sunflowers, uh, tomatoes, uh, lettuce, um, celeriac, spring onions, radish, <laughs> <laughs> more celeriac and uh, the best thing of all for us is uh, sweet peas. We've never ever ever grown sweet peas ahead of the time, you know, trying to get them advanced and uh, we've got a, a lovely selection here. I can't remember all the names but um, it'll be interesting to see what they're going to be like this year when it warms up a bit. I'm, I'm scared to put them out just now because we're getting so much cold weather. And uh, we've been making more bird baths, as you can see. Uh, fruit, trying to get organised with the fruit section. And all the blossoms starting to come out now. So we've got all the pear blossom at the moment, which is looking fabulous. Um, the apples are going to come out later. I mean, there's uh, a lot of blossom in this garden. Broccoli parsnips. We're growing strawberries in a in this sort of tiered pot system at the, at the moment. We've never really grown strawberries much over the years because of the slugs but hopefully this might work. And um, over here we've got uh, an Alsturian, Alsturian tree cabbage which has been amazing really. We've been cropping from it all year and now we're even eating the, the shoots here which are, are really quite tender. Uh, so uh, that's been that's been a great bonus. The topiarized rabbit is coming on. Still not quite there with the ears, but um, <clears throat> and at the back here we've got uh, some green gauges, under which I'm trying to establish um, uh, rhubarb. It's a bit early to pick these at the moment. They're still a bit young, but hopefully next year we'll have a good supply. And right at the back here we've got some. Uh, Oh, you can just see there's some asparagus coming up, which is great news. I'm looking after the orchard in the neighbouring plot here. This is like a communal orchard. That's been good fun, just cutting paths through longer grass in, in which I'm trying to establish some wildflowers. Um, I've been making some more compost heaps because we're trying the no dig method and you need plenty of green waste. So um, we've upped our game on the compost scene. Anyway, hope that gives you a good idea of what we're up to. I hope you're all doing well, um, keeping busy and looking forward to a new season. And uh, do, support, uh, do support Horatio's Garden wherever you can uh, in these uh, difficult times. Uh, their ongoing support means the world to them and me. So thank you very much. Good luck and stay healthy. Bye bye.